Quick video on how to lube a Glock pistol. This will work for generation three, four, five, or even older. Today we've got a Glock 45, which is a nine millimeter. Lock the slide to the rear visually, and if needed physically, inspect, ensure the gun is empty. Always point that in a safe direction. Let's field strip this pistol. Pull the lower off, drop the spring and barrel out. We'll be in that configuration. We're going to take a chip brush. Make sure that we've got no dust or dirt in there. You can use a light nylon brush. This is just a nice time to make sure that the gun is clean. So this lubing process you would do with a clean gun or if you're on the range running the gun hard and you need to keep it lubed up for good running and for longevity of the parts. We'll start with the slide. I've got a needle bottle of gunfighter gun oil. We're going to put a few drops into the rails. A lot of abuse here. I'm going to put a drop right here. I'm also going to put a drop on the breech face and the extractor. Don't go down into the firing pinhole. Oil in a striker fired gun that gets down in there can cause hydraulic action and slow down the forward movement of the striker. Pro tip, with any of these guns, look for wear points where finish is wore off. That's where the metal parts are touching. We're gonna grab the barrel. I'm gonna use our clean chip brush, put a little bit of oil on it, and we're just gonna wipe down all of the surfaces. Again, you can see where finish has wore off because of contact. That's totally normal, means you're using your gun. So I've got that all good and wet. Feed ramp, lug, and chamber. Set that aside. I like to take the spring, give it a light wipe. Not a lot, just a light wipe. Get that little bit of bristle out of there. And we'll come back to that in a second. Now we've got the lower. These four points. One, two, three, four. Then where the trigger bar meets the connector. One drop right there. And if you can see that, that is one friction point that if you've got a little bit of oil on on a Glock or striker fired pistol, things are going to feel a lot better. No, we're not filling this full of lube. No, we're not filling this area full of lube. These guns were not made to have tons of lubricant on them. Set that down for a moment. One other thing that we want to do is just run a couple of lubed patches through the barrel if you're going to do storage. So this is not a storage setting. This is a firing, running the gun setting, but we'll just show you how to do that. Nothing fancy. Use a brass or a wood brush so you don't cause any kind of injury. This is pretty darn clean. If you were going to store the gun, you'd want to run that till it was clean and put a little oil in there. So I'm going to reassemble. I've got uh, one other spot here I want to make sure I touch on this gun, and that's the uh, safety right here. Put one little drop of oil on that and on the extractor a little bit of oil you can actually hit that it'll just a just the slightest drop right there and right there and then we'll wipe that loose just to make sure it gets spread in there muzzle in a safe direction and we will reassemble this block we verify it's empty we we'll do a systems check pin the trigger back it's resetting pin the trigger back it's resetting wiper down a good spot to also check on all of these guns is the sights. A lot of them are made out of tool steel and they can and do get rusty from rubbing on our skin or if you're out training in the rain. And there you go. Simple lube job for your Glock pistol.